Previously in my Tekkit world. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, I have added to Tekkit the Crafting Table 3 uh, as an additional mod. Uh, I've seen this being used in the Yogscast's uh, videos quite a lot and it seems like so much easier to build things with this. Okay, so here we are with the enchantments. I'm going to try and get roughly a level 25 enchantment for each of the four bits of armour. Now in Tekkit, I start a new recording. And finally, the penny drops. Ah. What's going on here? Where's my armor gone? Um. Um. Uh. I had other good armor. And I've lost it. Um. Yeah, hopefully I've put it somewhere. No, no. I am the crafting table three, and I eat your armor. Um, yeah, what have I done? <laughs> So, it's not in there. That's the new armor I've done. I've lost my aqua protection headset. And it's not there. Ah! Uh, when did that disappear? <laughs> I remember checking it, and it was all healthy. And now it's gone. Um, anybody see it around? Any armor? You there? Anybody watching? You see where my armor's gone? It's not over here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not having that. That's not good. Well, I'm going to have to put on this instead, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, right. Well, that'll have to do. Anyway, um, not quite the intro I was expecting, but welcome back to my Tekkit world. Don't know what's happened to my other armor. I think it's to do with using this. When I created the other armor, maybe it did something. Yeah, look, see, I'm wearing armor and it's using that as a source or no, that's taking it from there. Hmm. I am the crafting table three and I I eat don't know what it's armor. done, but it's nicked my armor. Somewhere this game stole my armor. <sighs> Right, anyway, here's an update. Uh, first of all, this area in here, I've started creating with an idea to be an enchanting room. Uh, problem is, in this bit over here, it crashes into the storeroom, which I'd already created, so I can't make it as big as I'd liked. Um, so, yeah, there's that in there. Uh, another bit of the update, I've added some pillars in, just as decoration. I've made this now all open glass all the way round, as if this is the control room for a factory. Um, then, under here, uh, no, let's go through this way. So these bits, I've taken out the redstone lamps and put in levers, so that I can actually switch them on and off, depending on whether I'm using them or not. The idea was that I was noticing there was quite a lot of chunk updates going on, and I thought it may have been because of the factory equipment that was going on, the frames per second was dropping down. Uh, so I went through and did this, didn't actually make that much difference even with them all off. So it's a bit of a red herring. I then went on a creating bent for sticks. The reason I needed sticks was to create support frames. And the reason I needed support frames was to create this. This is the frame for where I'm expecting to have the roof opening eventually. Now, the problem is, um, yeah, it's too big. It's too big for the space. Um, 
over on this side the edge of the mountain is fairly thin and although I could move from the middle to there okay when I translated that to a space on the uh, outside it looks a little lost so I'm now working on the idea of the whole thing moving this way and this way he's got a bit more room which I've now opened out um, so this whole area moving off this way and it can there's currently 16 blocks wide over there and this has got just 16 blocks now to move to here now in order to do that I've had to extend the area outside on that side but not too bad so unlike the other side which would have uh, been sticking straight out the side of a mountain this area on this side um, I've accommodated by this bulge here which okay I've done it deliberately as cobblestone at the moment so you can see which area has been um, added uh, but it's not that bad um, I've also killed off some of the chickens I thought they may have been causing some of the lag um, Oh, it's black from the torch. I saw something black fly past. I wondered what it was. Um, I've added some glass to either side of the walkway so that you can have a bit more of an open area to walk over. I've put a door in over here as another way in and out so you can get in and out to this area and the rubber farm and things nice and easily. Um, I've added a small hole down here to get straight into the storeroom and I've color coded or coded the storeroom but I still haven't started using it yet so this area with wood delimiting it is intended for organic things so that would be um, flowers grass leaves saplings feathers sugarcane wheat all that sort of things this area over here where I've put sandstone is for things I've turned raw bits so that would be stone cobblestone um, grass blocks, soil blocks, wood planks, snow, ice, sand, gravel, etc. This section over here is for, hmm, what was this one? Uh, yeah, okay, this could have been for made things because these are man-made blocks, but then I'm not sure what the brick is. Uh, so this, if it was this was made things, it would have been for doors, signs, boats, pictures, carts, buckets, things like that. And the brick area over here would be for the other stuff, which would be tools, armor, uh, and pipes, and all the other stuff that you can't uh, really craft. And these storage areas also go around, around the back there as well. So there's a large section for each one. Uh, and the idea would be, I think I'm gonna have to need to put signs in or something to say what's in each one. Currently, there's nothing in these at all. And then of course, there's an area here between each one, which could be for other sundry things. So yeah, it's all colour coded. So if I come down here, once I've started using this, I'd rapidly get used to, oh, it's in wood, right, top sort of one to find out where things are. Um, so a nice easy way to keep the bearings. You can see there's a little gap there to that's where the area I've dug out for the enchanting spaces. Um, I've taken the glass blocks off the top of here and replaced them with glass cover blocks because it looks a bit better, I think. Um, this is a very quick, rapid tour of all the stuff that's been done. Um, Oh, this area over here, the sign room. Uh, yeah, I've just opened out into a hollow space again now. I'm not sure what to do with this, but there's quite a lot of space there that could be used for something. Um, and then we're on to the lighting bits. Now, depending on how I edit things, how can we get through? Edit things together. This uh, may or, or already have been revealed, but I remember I'd, I'd started putting luminators in these, and I decided they weren't working, and I was going to do the lamps and have to wire them up underneath. Well, I did come up with a better way of wiring them up, so they are all now connected, and I can turn them off and turn them back on, and they all turn on. I've got in mind putting some random ones of these that are flickering eventually just to make it look a, a little like they're not all perfect but for now they're all on and I found what I think is a nice way of wiring these up so it doesn't take up too much space you don't have to have a whole block there uh, you just have these um, slab covers things with the wires going up to the lamps so I've made all of these consistent in the way that they're wiring so they all wire the same way round also opened out this area here. This was all solid before, and it goes back now as far as the little uh, hidey hole where I was uh, leaving the computer if I was needing to go away from the keyboard for a while. 
And I've done a few bits like this. There's stairs under there, and I've just covered them with the cover blocks just to hide them. And similarly, they are the stairs that go down to the mine over there. Now, what else is there to show? Let's have a think. Ah, yes, let's come out over this way, over in the corner here. Um, this bit over here was an area, uh, when I'd first been mining that bit out, I'd hit this area as another exit, and there is a way out over there, and there's also a tunnel system that's over here that doesn't really lead anywhere, a uh, bit of a dead end. Um, but I've crashed into this from a couple of different directions now. First of all, this way, and also down there. And down there is where I have hollowed out another staircase going down here to give me another area that I can use for factory and things. Um, so yeah, I've crashed into that area down here um, from the top. And uh, at the moment, I'm expecting to be able to tunnel off in all directions here and back under the factory floor over here. I may make it an extra floor deep for the, to the whole factory that way. Um, what else has there been done uh, over here? I've extended this area out a bit more, opened it out to give a bit more room to start putting things in as well. Uh, and at some point I will have to start building the other bits of the factory, the things to build the more advanced equipment. Um, and now, yeah, let's go to the nether. But before we go to the nether, let's equip... Where's it gone? Uh, this thing... Mm, no, this one. Let's put this ring on there. Yeah, so let's go into the nether now. So over here in the nether, I've firstly added a lot of cobble round here. This was using the mercurial eye and then transmuting it. They've all got an EMC of one, um, so it takes no energy to transmute netherrack into cobblestone, but this has got a much higher blast resistance to uh, ghasts if they were to turn up here. And you can see, if you look on the uh, little map there, the nether fortress gives the game away as to what I'm heading for over here, which I found. Uh, so to get there, oh, hello, these don't despawn. That's good. Um, so yeah, these last quite a while, and I've built myself a path here to remind me which way to go, including a nice little safety area here if I needed it to keep away from the gas. But to be honest, with uh, good armor and things, I uh, really don't have that much problem in the nether at all. This could be famous last words. Um, that ring that I've put on the hotbar, though, should allow me to do things like this, where there's fire, and just walk straight through it because it puts it out and stops me going on fire so yeah that works well and it works similarly with lava do i want to risk this just in case i'm not carrying too much yet look if i walk through the lava uh, i get fire and then it goes out straight away with very little damage although i do need to eat just to be on the safe side there we go and i'll put the uh, thing on there because i've just spotted a gas off in the distance bad shot too low hit missed Okay, getting some horrible lag at the moment. Uh, I've left myself a path down here with uh, some random blocks to be able to see, but I've also, of course, got the way marker to be able to find it. And one of the things I've got in mind to do when I get over where I'm heading is to start farming some... What are they called? Um, those things. You know the things. Yay, shot. Um, oh yeah, I should point out this bow is an infinity one, so I don't need to worry about uh, arrows at all. Um, that's why I can just fire them and spam fire them at gas and things if necessary. Yeah, missed again. Uh, but over here somewhere, when I get there... Let's uh, drop down this way. And round here, maybe. 50 odd meters to go. Come on, sprint. Thank you. Is a blaze spawner. That's the word I was trying to think of. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, don't fall down there. Yeah, so somewhere over here. I've lost it. Hmm. There is a blaze spawner. Ah, there we go. Yep. There we go, firing at me. So um, one of the things I've got in mind doing is apparently these give quite good XP when you kill them. Um, now obviously it's not going to be any good to me while he's over there, um, but if I was somewhere more convenient to be able to kill them, 
Oh, soul sand, come on. Don't like flying while I'm over here because uh, you do take fall damage. There's a bug with the uh, things. Um, but yeah, apparently these things do give quite good XP, so I need to come up with a way of um, farming these safely. Um, apparently they are a bit of a pain to be able to farm because they do leap out of gaps quite annoyingly well. Um, oh, wow. They look a lot more evil than I imagined them being when I'd seen other people fighting them. But yeah, so at some point I'm going to figure out how to farm these for XP. Um, and then hopefully earn a lot more XP. Anyway, I think that's it for now. I've just realised I've been talking a long way away from the microphone through a lot of that. So the sound quality may not come out too well. Um, there's probably a load of other things that I've uh, edited. Uh, been crafting and things. Ooh, lava up on the roof. Um, uh, that I forgot to mention at the moment, uh, including where the hell do I get out of here now? <laughs> yeah, not this way. Um, how do I get out? I'm lost. It's so easy to get lost in these places. Every corridor looks exactly like every other. I think I've gone down one too many levels. Yeah, anybody watching this is probably thinking, yeah, look, you've gone too far, you're out, you're stuck, you're lost. There we go. Right. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Come on. Oh, no damage. Wow. Maybe I wasn't in the air long enough, or maybe the bug isn't affecting me. I must admit, I've not actually uh, taken any damage doing this myself while I've been here in the nether, uh, but I have seen other people with YouTube videos using the swift rending, swift wolf, whatever the hell that ring's called, um, when they take uh, land on in the nether, they do take full damage. Uh, I'm too impatient, I'm going to risk it. Oh, still no damage, cool. Uh, the other thing I've got is I've actually now got a silk touch pickaxe, which I think I will have uh, included in the video before this bit, so you'll know where it came from. Um, so I do intend to grab some glowstone using that. You get a lot more EMC for the glowstone uh, as a whole than you would from the uh, glowstone powder dust that you'd get from the individual bits. I did have multiple ways up to this bit. This was the first way I'd done, which was a spiral staircase rather than the other way that I went across there. I uh, spent ages building this and then realised I'd got a much more direct route, but in getting lost on the way back, not paying attention while talking, um, that's the way I ended up. Yeah, that's the more direct route over there. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for now. Um, just just going to record getting back through the nether portal because one of the last things I want to be doing in this video is I want to destroy the nether portal that's in the middle of the factory at the other end, ready to place it somewhere else. Uh, but before I did that, just in case it doesn't connect back to the same place, uh, I wanted to show you uh, how things looked over there. But yeah, this is going to be now got rid of any second. There we go. So effectively, that's this nether portal done with. And it'll now be moved. Um, and I'm not exactly sure yet where to place it. I don't want it to be too far away for the risk of it um, not joining up to the same portal back in the nether. I want to keep the orientation the same as well. Um, so I'm thinking I may just put it here uh, as if it's the doorway. And then you've got the choice of either stopping or going out. And if you stop in it, you'll go to the nether. If you just run straight through it, uh, you'll just head straight out of the building. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, one of the other things I need to note, this roof with this big door that's going to be opening is going to be over a thousand blocks that need to move. Um, this isn't as big as it needs to be, uh, and I've just realised I haven't shown you what it looks like from the outside, but it also needs to be three blocks deep, because there's the frame, there's the soil level, and then there's the water level above. So however uh, wide and deep this is for the, the area of it, it's got to be multiplied by three. And at the moment, I think the area as it is comes to about 1,100 blocks, which is more than can be moved with the frame motors. So I'm going to need to either split it up into multiple bits or to move different bits in different directions. And the reason it needs to be bigger is that that huge area that's underneath only translates to 
this area here now including this bit in that side as well um, but that just looks like a big swimming pool um, and having looked at the footage and the bits and pieces of bloat felt space in Doctor not Doctor Who in um, You Only Live Twice the James Bond film that uh, gave me the idea to do this in the first place um, this whole area really needs to be the lake now I can do it a little bit rounded to uh, grab a little bit less of that but it really needs to get out to about here which means another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, say eight blocks uh, this wide on this side. And I've factored in another five blocks on this side. One, two, three, four, five, I think it is to there, which means I can just build that bit up a little bit, as well as this bit over that side, which is then beginning to look big enough for the space. Um, now maybe I can get away with not moving it back all the way because uh, otherwise I won't have long enough uh, in the wall on that side as you've already seen um, so I may only move it to here build this side out a little bit at the bottom to give it something to tuck under and hide away with um, but we shall see it's proving a bit of a challenge certainly this big square block is not the way to go now obviously it'll look a li little bit better when it's not the white blocks on the bottom and it's soil instead um, but yeah, it's certainly going to be more of a challenge to make this work and deliver the effect that I was going for than I first thought of. And it's not just the building things in Tekkit that's the challenge, it's actually the aesthetics um, of the space and the limits of it that's going to cause a lot of the problems. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, done loads of work as you can see and uh, yeah, need to find my armour. What have you done with my armor? <laughs>